That's right, hopefully you can hear me, hopefully you can see me. We are live, live, live. Big it up to the big one. It is Rovers. Go down to Vickers Road, my old stomping ground, to take on Watford. What? I'm wearing, I'm rocking the yellows. Yellows of Watford? No, it's the yellows of Rovers. Retro jersey. Making its debut on the uh, on the, on the, on the watch alongs. It's, it's, it's been used before, but uh, never worn it for the watch along. We're going we're gonna to hopefully see if it's a lucky shirt. Uh, to bring us home the bacon. Uh, straight off the bat, yes, Polish Rovers fan. Uh, drop it in uh, in the comments. Uh, rest in peace, Matt Still Silito. Big, big shocking news uh, coming out of the, the Rovers community uh, with his passing at the age of just 30 years of age. Um, not too sure what went on over that, um, but he is a familiar... Familiar member of the community worked at Rovers as the PA announcer. Oh, I don't want to really start off with a sour note, but it, you know, Rovers PA announcer. Uh, everyone's heard those those dorsal tones in their ears uh, when they attend uh, the games at Ewood Park. Um, but uh, sadly, passed away this past week. So tragic, tragic stuff. Um, you know, I just want to make sure everybody knows out there. I am, you know. You can always talk talk to, to if you want to talk to me, reach out to me. I am available on Twitter. You can you can you can DM me if you just want to have a chat. Do please do so. Um, you know, just it it's it's a it's a sad, sad, sad thing. Um the, the passing of such a young man at, at at that age. And again, I don't know the the ins and the outs about it, but you know, we hear the the tragic tales of a lot of young folk who go way too soon. Um, and all I want to say is that you, you you can you can talk to me if you if you need someone to talk to, just let me know. Just ping me a DM and we'll have a chat. You might not like listed to me, but I I will I'll, I'll give you my time of day. I'll let you know. Um, you know, I'll, I'll let you. I'll, I'll, I'm I'm there to 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 talk to if you need if you need it. So please do just that. Um, yes, big respect to the guys in the chat. We are here to talk about the Rovers game against Watford. We'll get in. Let's get in the swing of that, and let's hopefully do Matt proud. Of course, uh, the teams are in. Uh, I need to. I can't see that because my eyes are absolutely shocking. So let's get the likes in here, guys and gals. Um, and of course, if you're new, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thoughts on Oxford United, real quick. Well, they've, they've burst onto the scene, haven't they, over in the League One. Uh, Manning's doing an absolutely fantastic job for them, considering they're always the bridesmaid, never the bride under Carl Robinson. Uh, it could be the year for Oxford United, and imagine them. A massive, a massive uh, 
city, is it a city? Would you class it as Oxford as a city that, that are not in the big time, that are not in the, the focal point? It, it, I think it's their time. I think it's their time. Plymouth are back. Uh, we've seen other other clubs that have a, of a decent, uh, humongous size in, in the landscape of the geographical landscape. I'm boring, I'm boring myself. I'm boring myself here. But, the, you know, Oxford, are, next, Oxford need to have a better spotlight put on them. And I'd love to see them in the championship uh, and 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 my aunt didn't know didn't even know what, what it happened. Yeah, James, it, it was I think recent. I think I was actually in, out shopping yesterday early morning when I when I when I heard the news. And you know, it is it is um, sad sad times, uh, and um, especially amongst the the inner workings of the Rovers community. So. Hopefully Rovers can do uh, uh, him and his family proud uh, today and, and just give us a performance worth fighting for, you know, believing in. Um, but to, I'm rocking the yellow jersey today because it's a Watford. You know, we, we, we Watford wear yellow. I thought I'd rock the yellow jersey and the other ones just need a wash. So uh, the dog the dog's been rolling in them. Uh, I'm feeling it on a love and away day at Ewood Park next season. Yeah, well, k- kudos to Oxford doing, doing the biz. Uh, and of course, the Manning's old boys doing the biz in uh, in League Two at MK Dons. They're flying high as well. So, yeah, we'll see how they get on. We are what, trying to attempt to watch this game on um, on uh, ESPN Plus because we're based in the deepest, darkest Georgia, the state. I tell you what, my, my my garden is like Jurassic Park. I tell you that now. I don't know if I told you this before, but it's fucking frog salamander city. I just and I'm not that I'm not that way inclined, guys. I do not like sticky green animals oh no it's it's i have to every time i go out there whether it's early morning like 5 a.m or something like that or late at night after like nine or ten o'clock it's like i've got to take a gun with me like a right like a, like a jurassic park style you know taking out these frogs they're fucking everywhere so uh not not uh not the greatest but hey i signed up for it i'm sucking in i'm locked in uh, so we're going to have to do with Yeah, Andy Moran uh, makes the bench today. So that's great to see. Straight in, straight off the bloody plane uh, from Brighton because they flew him in or whatever they did and straight into the into the starting 11. I do believe, I'm not sure, I'm hoping he can play midweek against, um, against uh, Harrogate Town. So I'm already thinking, I know we should be thinking about this game, and I am, uh, but uh, get Matey Boy Moran in, get Wildstad in uh, for, of course, the game against Harrogate Town. Give them uh, a full 90 minutes as well. You live in the US. I should really know that. You should. You should. We're overseas. Overseas. I put the overseas in overseas. That's why I watch the games and, and I can do. Um, Oxford City, according to your sister who lived there. Yeah. yeah. You know, check her fingers. She might have six fingers because she might live in uh, live in that neck of the woods these days currently. I didn't know. I, I don't know. Town, city. It should be a city. But, you know, you, sometimes you offend people when you call a place a town when it's a city. Uh, also, just let, uh, if, if my sister so happens to be watching this, tell the, the folks that I might be a little late for the Skype Rooney because this game goes too close to the mark. So I might be fine, but um, just just let them know I might be a little late. Uh, good morning. It is morning. It is 6.56 a.m. You know, and I'm, I've, been up, I've been up since five for this. But, you know, so, hey, you know, I feel it. I feel it, Rovers. Uh, and I'd let you know, just let you know, Rovers fans, I'm going. Going to Ewood Park this year. It's confirmed. Well, it's not 100% confirmed. It's like 95% confirmed. I'm going to be in England again, you know, health permitting. Got the tickets. Coming this Christmas. Going to watch Rovers. Uh, I might go down to Southampton. Probably go to the McAlpine. Probably going to go uh, the game in the middle there. I think, I don't know who, who the other game is, but it's at Ewood Park. So I'm hoping to do the, the, the three-peat for Rovers. Commitment, true dedication, you guys are, are correct. So let's see, because ESPN and me have, have not this the greatest relationship, and they just like to piss on my parade sometimes. So hopefully we won't have no problems. And hopefully my reactions are going to be on point today. Okay, hopefully you can't hear that, because because if I, if I if you can't hear that, then I'm doing my job correctly. So here come Rovers coming at you. They are, of course, gearing up for this match i'm going to put the chat up there i'm going to put the game down here a little cup of coffee get the likes in guys get the likes in indeed i also need to turn this monitor off so i don't see all that we are live we are live watford of course my old stomping ground uh we had a chat with the guys from the do not scratch your eyes podcast out this week 
Uh, we had a little bit of memory lane, talked about uh, my time at Northwood, my, you know, uh, you know, Tesco parking lot. We talked all about that. Um, Denver Green in the house. Uh, Going to try and find somewhere in Miami now. Denver Green, of course, yes, he was, he was hoping to wangle away up here, but we are on the way to PA very, very soon. Uh, Got to do my uh, weekly, well, not weekly. It's like every six weeks, got to travel up there. Um, I've only got two more left for this calendar year, this one and then and Halloween. So I'm going up there in Halloween. Um, you're going, so I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Of course, that's on um, the 16th of, of December. Southampton away. Yo, yes. Going to watch Adam Armstrong rip up Blackburn Rovers. Of course, the team news. Of course, let's talk about it. Backman, Seema at left back, Hoot, Pudius, uh, Andrews. We've got Teddy Bashu, Karambu, Kone, Matthias Martins, Bayo, and Asperia. Very, very sexy attacking lineup by uh, Watford. Not the sexiest for Blackburn Rovers. We'll get to them right here, right now. We've got pairs between the sticks. JRC at right back, Carter, Dom Hyam, and then we've got Britain as an inverted left back. And then we have Travis. We have Wharton, uh, of course, uh, in the midfield. Dolan, Smodich, Hedges, Leonard up top. No Gallagher. Uh, uh, he gave birth, or his wife, other half, gave birth this week to uh, the new Gallagher. Get him up top, they say. Uh, who else? Uh, no Buckley. There is a little bit of grumblings and rumblings. He, is, of course, is fully or fit, fit enough to play, but not involved in any other team, not even the bench. So, pondering, pondering, pondering. JDT, of course, has been cutthroat in his decisions in the past. You know, no Dak. You know, as sentimental as it would have been to give Dak a new deal. No. D Diaz, of course, that was out of his hands. Um, um, so, if he doesn't fit the mould, he might not be a part of the process. And we, uh, as Rovers fans, had good hopes for uh, for John Buckley as, as a potential long stay or at least somebody that can generate a bit of fundage uh for for rovers but um right now he's not involved will he be still a rovers player at the end of the week that's the question of course transfer window does slam shut and of course how many rovers signings do you think we'll, we will get we got moran just i think the diehard core of rovers fans are expecting at least another two but we might get another one a moment of silence in the middle of the field here at vicarage road A couple of what, former Watford players passed away this week. And on the 30th minute, they'll, they'll, they'll represent, uh, uh, give them a sort of round of applause for uh, Matt Salato, of course, part of the Rovers fabric for a long time as the PA announcer, Radio Rovers, all that kind of stuff. But this is for Andy Ranking. Minute of silence again. You can watch this game on Sky or ESPN, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, Glad you guys are one of my favorite players. Johnny Wu in the house. Respect, bloody hell. Can our economy stand you coming in here with your money you spend? Uh, but are you on about my flights? The flights, actually, the flights to come over were actually meant to be like four years ago. Pre it's like COVID time. I think we booked it COVID time to get our get ourselves over there. Then cancel, cancel, cancel. Give us a coupon or a voucher. So, you know, my folks are moving from Germany to England. So... Maybe a big old shindig get together this coming Christmas. Andy Rankin, one of Watford's greatest goalkeepers. Rovers, of course, in their blue and white halves, not yellows. Could have told me, could have given me the bloody memo. The only team in yellows is Watford. I am not a Watford fan. I am, I am, I am, I got a Rovers tattoo on my ass. Lancashire Rovers, Lancashire Rovers tattoo on my ass. Um, it is the Elton John stand. It is Watford. It is Vicarage Road. I remember the old high street. Jonglers, bloody walkabout. Bloody hell, the vomit and the, the bodies that I saw, not dead ones, drunken ones, all over the place at, at Watford many, 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 many times. I'm talking about many times. So kudos. Kudos to Vodford. Um, and uh, Rovers kick off, going from left to right. I'm going to block a, a little bit of this over here because we are underway. Smodich kicks us off. Of course he does. He is the face of the place these days. Okay, Rovers, already, go down the right-hand side. Lovely, cheeky ball into the box. Backman, not Batman, not Batman, but Backman comes and grabs it. Make sure you smash the old likey-likey subscribe, because if you are new as well, man down already. And that's a Watford man. Um, so, yeah, Rovers hopefully having a busy week this week with transfers. I'm, 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 I'm more optimistic. I'm more optimistic than anything. Grizz wants to know how many tattoos. Who's Grizz? Who's Grizz? Who's Grizz? Who's Grizz? Who's Grizz? 
How many of you Grizzits? Who's Grizz? Is that a nickname? Well, I have three still. Come on, Rovers. Lovely pass back to Pears. Pears, of course, remains number one. I still think still think he will be number one. Um, well, uh, uh, nervy, nervy bit of play there as Callum Britton favours his right foot. Of course, he does a lovely ball. Wharton, lovely pass. Of course, picking up a lot of interest from Crystal Palace. And here comes Rovers down the right. Into the box we go. It's not good enough, though. It's cleared. And big old Carter marauding forward. Plays out a wide ball to the right-hand side. And it's JRC. Pings it to Travis, who's getting very, very involved creatively. Chance here for Rovers if we turn it around. JRC again. Can he cross? Looks a little, a little leggy. They were tackling there. So good, positive start from Rovers so far. Seema operating as, as a left back, sort of uh, an attacking player, you would imagine, to be uh, further up the field, but operating in a bit of a left back crisis uh, as we find ourselves in a little bit of a left back crisis uh, with Pickering out for suspension. Um, but uh, yeah, played out the back there, Rovers. But yeah, book the tickets. Going it, going to England, baby. Um, trying to trying to already plan my plan our trip over there. It's a little difficult, but we shall see. Your thoughts on Jonathan Rose explode onto the scene as the the minute Smodich, no foul there. As Watford come away with it, he has burst on the scene for Norwich and um, looking like the new uh, starlet, of course, for the championship. Now that uh, is it Alex Scott, Alex Scott went to uh, to uh, Bournemouth, uh, so now everyone's jumping on the Jonathan Rowe bandwagon. As for Rovers, we have our own starlet in Adam Wharton, and who who needs you know, and it's, it's difficult for Adam Wharton. He's, he's not really the goal scorer. But he's, um, he's, he's a creative visionary in midfield. He's not going to get the goals. He might be uh, one of the assist assist kings later on in the season if he gets if he remains a regular in the team, which I should imagine so. But um, no, he's, he's, he's uh, doing it. Sally Phillips went to Tottenham. He did. He did. It's a chance here for a Watford on the left-hand side. Travis gets involved in a little crunching tackle there. Get the likes in, guys. Get the likes in now, of course. Get the likes in for the Rovers victory. We need we need lot of likes. Seema uh, out Fox there, Travis, who went in. I don't even know if he touched him, really. Maybe a knee. Maybe a touch, a knee, a knee, and a bang in the knees. Yeah, Phillips with the Spurs. We'll see how that pans out. See if it works out for him in the end. Free kick here, though, for Watford. What we don't want is an early uh, goal to concede because then this game becomes a little bit flat, a little bit boring. Brazilian on it. Matias Matins. Look, are we outside? Bet for the playoffs. Um, I think Birmingham have started very, very good, as have Hull. Um, I don't know. What up, Marcus J in the house? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is, yeah, it is early days, and uh, and and I would uh, I would expect you know, I see how your window does. I don't know if you're done with it with your transfer market stuff, or or um, you expect to lose any more. We're gonna win tonight. When you say we, I, I sure hope you mean Rovers. Um, I don't know. It's gonna be a tough game this one. Um. However, the Rotherham game was also tough. Managed to get a good point out of that from a really bad losing scenario. Um, good fighting of performance against Hull, even though we lost. So hopefully we can... Um, uh, we need a striker, James. So get in line. Get in line. Rovers, of course, Marcus J. Of course. Silly me. Because you never know. There could be a Marcus J out there who's a Vodford fan. You just don't know. Any news on Sigurdsson? He's, he's, you know, he's, there's no point rushing him. There's, there's, besides this game, um, it's a chance here for Smodic. Uh, there's no point rushing him back for Plymouth to, to lose him. So we, I don't think we're going to get, when, you know, after Plymouth, we have a two week break. 
Um, chance for Sigurdsson to then get some minutes on the training ground, maybe a behind the scenes game, something like that. And then I'd say, you know, Sunderland and Middlesbrough after that, that's more than likely we're going to see him probably coming from the bench. So I'll be surprised. I'll be surprised if we, if he, if he's available on the bench between now and, and, and Middlesbrough slash Sunderland. I don't know which way was first. I think Sunderland's first. Um, Anyway, Watford with possession within the first six minutes. I'm watching F1 at two. Well, good luck for you. Um, I've got a I've got a Skype sesh at around about that time. I hope all goes well. So Watford with possession right now. No nonsense there by Dom Hyam. Get the likes in, guys. Get the likes in. We are we are pissing in the wind here with the, with the Sky game being on Sky. But uh, make sure you smash your likes and see if we can um, get ourselves moving in the right direction. Here comes Watford again. Ricochet. It'll be a corner. Corner for Watford. Shot took a ricochet. Went out back for a corner. F1 boring. One man dominates every time. Uh, yeah, I've, I've not, you know, I, I, I used to watch a shit ton of the sport. Hey, Dirk, do you watch Mr. Beast? Uh, <laughs> I watch Mr. Beast. Uh, I wouldn't say I, 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 I watch every now and again. I kind of just watch to see kind of the shit that he does. You know, I, I watched that one recently that with every country I actually watched and that was, you know, credit to Mr. Beast, you know, I watched that video, the comp, the one with the, every country from around the world um video watch it from them like i don't skip i didn't skip a single bit i thought it was all good well well done and um enjoyable video but i don't watch every one of them so uh, yeah i'll, I'll I'm, I'm i think I, I think i'm subscribed but i wouldn't uh i wouldn't be uh <clears throat> i'm not i'm not a regular viewer I did used to watch his old shit when he was like reading the dictionary and doing surf like marathons for like 24 hours. Those old school videos were, were pretty mad. It is so nice to see you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It could do with my uh, encouragement. Now, if he did the other way around, and that would be nice. NFL start next week. Let's go. See, that's, that's what people are thinking. People are getting a little bit ahead of themselves. It's actually the seventh it starts. Um, you know, like, it's not next Sunday. It's next, it's like, not this Thursday, the following Thursday. So it's a bit, it's still a bit away away. I've got, I've got fantasy drafts to do. Um, I'm in at least one, two, three of them, maybe four of them. Four, four fantasy drafts. I've got one the Tuesday before the, the, the season starts. I've got one today. Um, one that's out of my hands. Don't know when it starts, and one that I'm supposed to create. So my team's Buffalo Bills. Of course they are. Respect. You know, I I I was bagging them when they were shit. Um, and now hopefully they could be on. The, I have a retro shirt from my dad currently. My only shirt. I plan to get more. I want to get the black one. Enjoy the video so far. Great stream, brother. Thanks. Thanks for your uh, support. Make sure you smash the like. Smash your subscribe if you are new. Uh, what do you mean, boo? What do you mean, boo? Checked on your FBO. You're literally second last. I know, I know, I know, but I, I, I've, I've, I've hardly touched it. Um, I'm such a crazy, insanely busy person at this minute. Um, oh, boo, as in the bills. I thought you, I thought your game might be ahead of mine. I was worried. Yeah, I know. I am. I haven't. It's, it's early days. You know, I, I'm not really. I wasn't really excited to begin with fantasy but i wanted to create it just to get it going and, and i and i i actually for, i was going to change some stuff around but it was too late so i am pretty pretty turd go on then tyrese needs to sign the contract his contract does expire at the end of the year tyrese that's a heavy touch mate heavy touch yeah bills got got to back the bills um Josh Allen, incredible stuff. Diggs, wide receiver, electric. 
Uh, I don't know if 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 they burst their bubble and and they missed their opportunity. I'm hoping this season that their division is looking pretty tough. The Jets are getting harder and more difficult. So are the Dolphins. Uh, Patriots are always going to be a problem. So it's going to be a tough old tough old thing. This so far hasn't seemed good. Watford has had a lot of possession. That's fine. That's fine. It's a chance here for Rovers and JRC on the right hand side. Marauding. It's a heavy heavy pass. Chats of Rovers. Alan a bit overrated, right? No, 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 no. Josh Allen is is great. The only the unfortunate scenario is that um what division? What division? He's he's in a tough we're in a tough sort of conference or whatever. I think we always meet up with the Kansas City Watson chops, Kansas City Chiefs, and the other guy, Mahomes, is just, he's a freak. Mahomes is a freak. Allen is like a good second. Eagles Bills 26. I need to get Sky Sports to watch the game myself. Smodich now. Dolan. It looks like Dolan. Spreads it way back. Chance now, left hand side, Callum Britton. He's so one-footed, it's so bad. However, however, he went for, it looked like he was going for a shot here. But uh, no, this game is on the main event. I guess we're the only game in town right here, right now, in front of the Sky cameras. Lovely stuff here by Callum Britton down that right-hand side, one-footed wonder. Backwards. Here we go, Wharton, left peg. Switches it. Crystal Palace, are you watching? Everton, are you watching? All the big buys, are you watching? Corner. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get the scorpion kick ready. Let's wind up the scorpion kick. Rovers with a bloody corner here. Again, set piece. Set piece uh, maker we need. We need somebody who can do set pieces. I don't know if we can get a goalkeeper that can take set piece. Somebody who needs to take a corner or a free kick. We have been shit. For years, and I'm talking years. What is that? That's not bad. Ah, that was a crazy old. Now Hickam Watford. Aspria, not that one. Different one. No relation, I've been told. Smodich doing his defensive duties. As Watford turn the woeful corner into attack. It had promise. The corner did have promise. Get the likes in, guys. Subscribe if you're new. One stop shop right here at Blackburn Rovers continues. We will have a bit of a, 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 a debrief as Rovers get the ball back to Pears. Now, Pears remains number one for now. I think he'll at least, unless he does something absolutely stupid today, will be number one for Plymouth. I think we'll see Wildstadt. Um, or whatever his name is, um, against Harrogate on Wednesday. I think that's when we'll get the debut. And he needs to uh, he needs to uh, not make a, not make any errors. And then after Plymouth, we'll see where we are. So I think Pears will get the next two games. We'll see. Hello, David Sheridan in the house. Respect where respect is due. Kerr, thanks for coming by. Make sure you subscribe. Thumbs up, of course, if you're new. That's to everybody. Uh, uh, Vodvod. Tenacity. JRC. Got to be careful with those lunges, buddy. The studs were up there. If that connected, we would have been down to 10 men, I think. Again. As Watford have possession. 15 minutes gone. Game-wise, not too bad from Rovers, but we're not really, not really moving forward. But it's a tough place to go. Valerie Ishmael's kind of team who, at Vicarage Road, did tonk QPR 4-0 on the opening day, wasn't it? 4-0 for something like that. Great block. Great block. This is going to be a 1-0 game. Raymond Reddington, hopefully it goes our way. 1-0 one one, one our way, but... Um, Travis is sure Leonard was pulled. Should have had a penalty there, I think, with the Leonard. I 
get to the... I tell you, I tell you what. Gavin War, blind as a fucking bat. Sorry, pardon my language for those with youngsters and those easily offended. But should have been a pen. Leonard dragged down in the box. And hopefully somebody has a word in his ear. Pairs quickly. Should have been a pen. Hopefully. It's absolutely scandalous. Here come Watford. No Blackburn player can be as bad as Romero for Spurs. Six, six games, 22 years, three reds and counting. But he still gets games. Still gets games. Frosty in the house. Respect. Make sure you smash your like if you're flying by. It's a mistake there. Bloody. Who was that with that back pass? So. What are we looking at? 16, 17 minutes on the clock. Birthday tomorrow, guys. Birthday tomorrow. I'm going to have myself... I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Like, I bought myself a big ass... Like, a big ass steak. Like, I'm talking artery-clogging steak I bought myself. Uh, with a boat, like a tomahawk or something. I bought myself one of them to cook on the grill. Or maybe not on the grill. Maybe on the, on the fryer. Don't know. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. So, I don't know if I should have that on the birthday or or... Or tonight. Probably going to be tonight, actually. Then I'll have the KFC tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to have... Thank you. Thank you, m -ball. So I'll probably have the steak tonight. Yes. Yes. Defo. Defo, defo. Watford man down. Gavin Ward. He looks like a weasel, doesn't he? Just looks like a little weasel. I thought you were vegan. What? 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 Where's that ban button? Got a ban? I, 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 no, I know vegan. We got one vegan in, in in the family, so I'm accommodating. You know, I I I try and I get it. I get it. I get the the vegan stuff. And if I think long and hard about it, I could. I could end up because I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for for animals. I am. But I bloody love meat. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I, hey, I'll do my meatless Mondays. Do my meatless Mondays. You're definitely one of my favorite YouTubers. Please continue the good work. I appreciate that. Appreciate it. I'll tell you, buddies. Tell you, but we'd like to get to 30,000 one of these days. Um, subscribe account, because I want to get also a good ball. However, my main man, Dom Heim at the back, commanding swoop. Uh, for Polish Rovers. Well, give me a minute. Remind me at halftime. And I will see what I can do if I can regenerate a code or or something. There is no prize. It's just bragging rights. Here comes Votfod. The subs are flying in. They have been. They have been flying in lately. Um, we're still trying to get up to the 30k. I'd love to get to 30k. I'd it's gonna probably be mission impossible by by um Oh, and not, not, not Plymouth. Oh lovely. Adam Wharton. That'll be on the clip reel. That will be on the clip reel. What a cheeky, insanely back heel pass. And he still gets away with it. If we can if we can get a goal from this, this would be goal of the season shit. I'm not gonna lie. Pull it back. What a build up. This would be all we need now is a finish, which is not not finish. We haven't got a fin. We've got an Icelander. We've got a a, a Norwegian or something. I think Trump, this is if we can all we need now is just now oh, it's coupon busting pass there. Lovely back heel. Smodich! Ball! Shoot! Great effort! Gavin Ward! Where's your bloody penalty card? Where's your bloody penalty card? You owe us one, mate. Yeah, I've got I've got no, I've, this is this is this is the only this is the only thing. You should do an American Stadium tour for the channel. You you know what? You know what, Marcus J. You know what? That's a great idea. That's a great idea. I should tour. Should do a tour. Hang on a minute. Let's get rid of this shit here. Should do the tour of the, the stadiums for the World Cup. Great stuff. What are you dilly-dallying? Come on, Rovers. Go on, Smodich. 
Lovely spread to the left-hand side, Tyrese. Give it! Harry Leonard. Too much work for the young lad. Nothing given. Nothing bloody given. Are you from Blackburn? Happy birthday for tomorrow. Thanks, boss. Okay, appreciate that, Alex. It's also Philly Pete's birthday. Same day. It's crazy. Uh, you sound more northern than me. Well, you know. It's in your, it's in your jeans, Karina. It's in your, it's in your 501s. Um, are you from Blackburn? Uh, it's 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 a tricky question. That's not not not. I wouldn't say from. We spent some time up there in in my youth, in my youth. But uh, 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 an army brat, uh, as an army brat, we lived everywhere, including Lancashire. Um, and then subsequently joining the military myself. So roots, right? I hope you'll be celebrating early. Well, I've been celebrating. <laughs> I've been celebrating this past couple of days. Having a few beers, had a couple of movie nights. Got a bit of a Kurt Russell athon last night. Chad's here though. Chad's. Great save pairs. Great save pairs. That's why he's number one. And that's why Welsh start will be pitch pissing himself now because he's thinking, how am I going to get in? How am I going to get in? What do you miss from your youth days? Or what? Are you from Blackburn? Are you from Blackburn, by the way? Which state do you live? All the questions are flying in right now. So, are you from Blackburn? It's, 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 it's the question is so loaded. It's a loaded question. If you ask the run of the mill or the run of the litter uh, person who is a Blackburn Rovers fan, they would say, yes, I'm from Blackburn. But as an army brat, where are you from? It's kind of a, a, a twisted question. Born in Germany, lived in Cyprus, Canada, Belgium, uh, England, Scotland, Germany, wherever. Um, oh, where are you from? What, that, that, that you, you're asking a weird question. So um, difficult, difficult to answer for me. Um, state I live in, deepest, darkest Georgia. Oh, it's a chance here. Don't go down. If he gives him a fucking penalty, but don't, pardon my French. Um, it's a chance. It's over the top here. Oh, my Lord. Who's this running onto it? It's Harry Leonard. Should be a fucking free kick. By the way, Dirk, can you uh, include me in the Rivals versus Norwich podcast? Wow, we could talk. Where was we when Rose was available? Yeah, uh, well, he's, he hasn't got the legs, are it? You're a man of the world. I am. I am an international. I, I, and you, I've got, I'm just like James Bond. I've got 18 passports. I am that, that, well, I wouldn't say 18, maybe like 14. I've got a few passports. Um, you know, Bond. I'm like Bond. Should put me up there for Bond alongside Ildris Elba and Tom Hardy. You know what? I have been referenced to being the Chris Pratt. Not, not the Andy from the Parks and Rec, Chris Pratt. The Guardians. Someone said, hey, you look like Chris Pratt. And I was like, you know what? I fucking well do. Yeah. So, and I, I, I bring that up all the time. The wife says, she can't believe somebody said that. And I was like, hey, ripped, ripped me. Uh, where was you with? Yeah. Uh, what else? State, do you miss? What do I miss from my youth days? I miss a lot. Um, I don't miss school. I'll tell you that now. School was ass. Adam Wharton, take it out there. And it's a delicious ball on the left-hand side. I don't know what's going to happen here, guys. Pairs. Oh, that's nervy stuff. It was the dog trainer who needed... It wasn't the dog trainer. It was somebody who worked at the dog, the, the, the park, the pet store. It was the pet store. Yeah. But hey, you know what? These young people, these young people these days, did not need glasses. Anyway, enough about my good looks. Um, who else thinks Dirk is best you on? Oh, bloody hell. Now you're going to make my head big. Compare the world now when you were in your youths. Well, well. Pushing me for an answer here. I think I think it happens to us all. I think it happens to us all. Uh, everything is always better when we were young. We were heard it from when we were young. When we were young, we would hear it from our elders. Oh, it wasn't like this when we were young. Uh, and I'm sure the snowflakes of today will say the same thing. It's probably going to get worse. It's probably going to get worse. You know, the climate that we live in right now, don't disrespect. I'm not trying to piss anybody off, but there's a lot of easily offended folks out there. Um, 
So just imagine in another 20 or 30 times, you'll probably sneeze and you'll probably cause World War VI. Uh, it'll be that fragile. That's just my take. I think it's just very, very, very fragile. And I think I think we're, I guess it's politics, politics. We talk politics here, guys. Don't I talk about politics? Cheeky handball or block there. But I think, we're, I think the world is, is, is starved of actual leaders. I think we're, we are missing actual world, like decent world leaders. Uh, in the United Kingdom, you had Boris. We had Trump. You know, now we have Biden. You know, just nobody with actual balls. We need, uh, we need people who make the right decisions, even uh, with, you know, the prospect of hurting a few people along the way in regards to some sensitive stuff. So, you know, that's, that's me. You know, it's, it's, we, we, we are starved. And everywhere, everywhere you look, everyone's complaining about their leader. Everyone's complaining about their, you know, their president, their prime minister, their chancellor, their whatever. There's nobody really happy. Unless you're Swedish. I think the Swedes are happy. Um, I don't know about the Australians and the dingoes, uh, if, they're, uh, if they're upset. However, another chance. Watford carving open up, but Rovers calm at the back. However, Watford get it back once again. Adam Wharton running his little ass off right now. Biden cannot keep running the US. He's his imaginary staff. Yeah, he's, he's, he's very, very frail, isn't he? But he's had his moment. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Lovely clearance. Just get that ball out of town. Yeah, I'm not, we're, we're done. We're done about the politics. Uh, yeah. Hey, can you show them? I cannot. I cannot show the match. 007. I'm 007, by the way. I'm 007. How old are you? That's a bit personal. I want to, you got to tell me how old I am. Whoever gets it right, beset for Karina. She cannot answer this question because that's cheating. Um, anybody else? And remember... Remember, I do not want, do not offend, do not upset me. I'm, this is the snowflake generation. You know, you can easily say, so get the first number. Whoa, gosh, you guys are crazy. Raymond, you're hurting me. Lundrup, you're hurting me. Wait, M ball, M ball. You're my favorite. You're my favorite M ball. Russell Frost, you're killing me, man. You're killing me. Mr. Austin, what are you doing? Uh, get out, get these numbers out of here. You're all banned. Oh, it's the bloody woodwork. That's that's your fault with your stupid numbers. You st uh, so Emble, Emble's right. Polish Rover. Yeah, 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 yeah. Emble, you're you're on it, mate. You're on it because yeah, Ray. That's it. That's what we're talking. Thirty nine again. I'm thirty nine one more time. I think thirty five. You don't change your decision, Emble. You were on the right track. You were on the right track. No, him K two. I'm the 007. Uh, no, do not come on Watford. Pears was beaten. That was a great effort. Hits the bar. Goal of the season contender would have been. But um, no, the bar denies. So somebody, I, th I don't even know if anybody actually got the number right. I don't know. I, I don't even know how old I am. Nobody actually got it right, which is good. So a little bit rude, but uh, it is good. I was actually called old man the other day by my, my, my work people. No, Karina, get a grip. Get a grip. A lot of yous. How old are you, Karina? If you know how you are, then you detract the, the gap, and then you know. 14 emboldened. Oh, that's a bit too. 49, you guys are killing me. I think Lundrup might have it in one of his 25 answers there. He's got about 16 that. He's, he's in all amongst it. Uh, no, I'm not. I am right now, but tomorrow I will be something else. Yeah. 73. Yeah, I think I think I'm something else. Down to 45. Why you got a slap head? Oh my gosh. It's a style choice. It's a choice. I decided this choice. This is my my, my hair of choice. I decided to go this route. You know, I don't want to have that widow's peak. And realistically, I'm I'm just lying. I'm lying if if I just have hair. Then it's I have to admit the truth. Bro is 60. Bro is bold. I'm going to have to say what I want and not give a rat's ass. You tell him, nice Steve. You tell him. M ball. You're right. You're in the right bracket there. 30th minute. That's from Matt Silito. Sadly passed away this, this thing. Unbelievably. Unbelievable. Sad times. Gutted. Absolutely gutting. Uh, I'm bold at 27. Do with age. You tell him, Ray. You tell him. I remember me old mucker, Dan, who was showing signs of... Balding early 
like early in his teens, I think. So, um, ha ha ha. But jokes on him because I'm now I'm bold, bolding. Anyway, respect Matt Sinato, 30th minute. Rovers held firm until that point. Uh, we've got 15 minutes to go. I'm 16, got the hairstyle of Ben Bloom. Uh, oh, yes, the Ben. He's long hair, lovely chance here for Rovers. Got a lot of work to do. Tyrese took a ricochet. Yeah, respect. Respect to Max Silito. Sadly, passed away this 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 last 48 hours, or well, at least confirmed last 48 hours. So that's at times. Uh, f a familiar voice and face to the Rovers community, and it is uh, grim. Uh, Frost, bro, I saw you in Dirk video. You look like Tom Cruise, you're the same age as him as well. If you remember Frost in the video, that's going back a bit. That's going back a little bit. He was in the video or stream, live stream for Barnsley. Guys, 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 guys. I don't know. I don't know what you, what, I don't know what the, the heart attack reference. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's, if that's how, you know, I don't know. And I'm not really trying to find out, you know, could be other stuff, you know, I should be a Rovers. Oh, come on, Ward. This referee, how old are you? I thought we, I thought we buried that conversation. That conversation's gone. If you, if you were born in seventy nine, you do the maths, Karina. You should be an expert by now. You are a teacher. You should know if you do the maths. Come on, come on. You're not an old. Have to remember. I am, Alan. I am. I, I remember Rovers winning the, the Pony Premier League. I also remember us winning the Worthington Cup when it was called the Worthington Cup. So I do remember. I don't also remember us bringing in, uh, becoming runners up in League One. That was pretty, pretty recent. I also remember when Germany won the World Cup in 90 and also 2012. What is it? 14 in Brazil. I remember. Okay, here we go, though. Rovers, Travis. JRC crosses. Decent ball. Where's the, where's the height? Where's the Gallagher? There you go, Karina. Do tell him, Lundrup. So I'm just saying, if you were born in 79, not saying that I was born in 79. I was born in like 89. Smodich just needs to grow a little bit. We've had a dry spell longer than Tottenham. Uh, when you say, you say in Rovers have had a dry spell longer than Tottenham. Have we? we? We denied them. We denied them. In, it, was, it was them that we played in the, in the Wuthering Cup final. Corner from Rovers. Pushed out to the left-hand side. Tyrese. Are we? Are we going to fluke something here? No. Maybe. Chance. Visit. Oh, my Lord. That was good effort. Harry Leonard. Harry Leonard up, up top. Getting involved. Get, sticking his leg out. Uh, of course. Uh, whew. Tottenham Master Trophy 2008. Okay, yeah, so we have, a, we have had a bit of barren spell. But hey, is it longer that... You can't include crappy stuff like League One trophies and championship trophies. But is it longer than Burnley? No, it is not. So let that, let, let that sink in. Yes, we're in the doldrums. We're down on our knees. Not in that way. We're down on the ropes, should I say. We're kind of a, 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 a beast that needs to be reborn. Um, but, but... We have got a couple of trophies in our cabinet that we won this century. We won this century. Won last century. And we got Premier League, which are like rocking or shit. Not many, not many clubs have those. Ronaldo or Messi. Um, you know, I was sad to hear dude perfect but I know, I know. However, there's a mistake here. Oh, that's where we need some some experience up top. Leonard showing his his his, his uh, youthfulness there, not really, really taking full advantage. I am a more Ronaldo guy, if I'm completely honest. But the more the longer I'm the chew on that question, the more I lean towards Messi now. Just the way that Messi composes, like holds himself in in the public eyes, he doesn't appear as arrogant as Ronaldo. Ronaldo screams arrogance, but. I've been a big fan of Ronaldo because he's done it a lot of places. Yeah, Serie A, Real Madrid, Manchester United, um, Manchester United. Chance now, Adam Wharton gives it to Callum Britton, one-footed man. Uh, gets rid of it, switches play once again down to the right. Lovely ball, lovely ball. Hedges now into the box. We go. No, it's blocked. 
by Ken Zim has done an excellent job at left back for Watford today. Go down to the Tesco, get yourself some Krispy Kremes. Do they still have that factory? Adam Wharton being manhandled by ba De Deli Basharu there. Referee is, is so cringeworthy, that Gavin War. Such a weasel. He owes us a fucking penalty. Somebody get, get him in his ear and say, hey, you cheating son of a bitch. You owe us a pen. Get rid of this one. Get rid of it, guys. I don't like this hanging around. Uh, nah, greatest player, Ali Da. He was uh, the Iranian guy, isn't it? Uh, what we having? A pizza on pineapple. Pine uh, That's not the question, Ray. The question is cheese on pizza, yes or no? And the answer would be no, of course. No cheese. I, yeah, you, I, I'd, rather have, I'd rather have pineapple on pizza than cheese on pizza. And that's the bottom line. Why? Because this guy said so. The real Ronaldo was the GOAT. Then comes Messi, then Ronaldo, then Dino, then Pelle, then add CR7. McGuire deserves Ballon d'Or. He deserves it for bench warming or stuff like that. Uh, breaking play here. Watford man is down. Uh, Omar Moon. Welcome to the stream. Make sure you smash your subscribe. What the fuck? No cheese or pizza. How, how you live? Hey, I live. Look at this. You don't get this baby face for nothing, you know. Cut out the cheese. Cut out the something. The, the less cheese, the more you please. How about that? Just, 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 I just, I just created that right there. The less cheese, the more you please. Look at this baby face. You don't get this, you know, from oil of you lay. You get, you get this from banging out or or knocking off the cheese from your diet, baby. You can't have pizza. Of course you can. Of course you can. Yep. Ask the vegans. Ask the vegans. Ask the vegans. If Zidane came to Rovers, we, we had our chance with that, but we had Tim Sherwood, and guess what? We won the Premier League. With Zidane, you know, yes, of course, same could be said for Lewandowski. Have Lewandowski, have Zidane. The path would not be the same. What we should say is, you know, what would our life be without Venkis? Yeah, that's what we should say. Babyface, so you are older than you look. Uh, look at Dave, he's straight on point now. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't being bashful or shy. He's going straight in there. He's like, he's like, Ugh. um, possibly. Some people say. Some people. Some people are shocked when they when they when they realise how young I am. Vegans use plastic cheese. <sighs> yeah, disgusting. Tim Show was Watford uh, before. Uh, uh, I think he was at Norwich. I think we bought from Norwich. Correct me if I'm wrong. Now I'm googling. You got me googling Ricky H. I know he played for for uh, Thinky Be Big, but uh, I think we bought him from Norwich. Yep. Ah, my ball knowledge is up there, guys. It is up there. He was at Watford, then he went to Norwich. We got him from Norwich. Then we sold him to Spuds. And then he went down the shitter from there. Dolan, a toilet again. Hey, he's... he's um, Yep, see, even now Steve remembers the days. See, I'm telling you, I, I know my shit, guys. I know my... Sh well, I know a good bit of my shit. Pre-1992, then, then I was thinking more about the He-Man figures than anything else. So forget about... Forget about He-Man Star Wars. That was it. And then... Actually, the 1990 World Cup is when I really got into football. And then um, it's a, I'm, I'm not going down this road. I always tell it every now and again, and it's it's long-winded. Dirk is a Batman Rose fan. It ages. It does. I don't, I, that might also come out as a dig there, mad dogs. <sighs> anyway, Rovers hanging on here. Um, Travis going with a bit of a cheeky shoulder barge over the top. Pairs. With a diving header. <laughs> Pez, I don't know. I don't know if that's great goalkeeping or 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 just madness. He just comes out with a bullet header. So I play for Norwich. Yep, I remember that. I remember that. Um He doesn't does where does he rank? Where does Chris Sutton rank in striking departments? Wharton, lovely stuff. He just goes about it. Silky bit of business. Lovely switcher play here down the left-hand side. Uh, so if we were to rank top 10 strikers for Rovers, of course, Shearer will be number one by, by a mile. Then you're looking at, I don't know, if you were going to go from goal game average, you're looking possibly uh, like, I know it's stupid, but it could be a Yakubu up there or a, a Rocket Santa Cruz or Jordan Rhodes if you want to consider championship goals. But where would you put Sutton? in? A, in would he make a top 10 within the Premier League era? 
Or would he be, you know, where would you, would you put Gallagher above Sutton? Shearer, Santa Cruz, McCarthy, um, you know, Bellamy, was he a striker? He's a bit of a weird kind of player. I thought Bellamy had like the, one of the best seasons for Rovers, you know, Sutton way ahead of what we have in recent years. Sutton, yeah, yeah. of course, he, you know, he's a, he's, he, you know, Premier League winner. Martins trying to get the best of, and he did get the best of. Come on then, come on then, ref, come on then. That's good, that's good. Finally. Oh, pairs. That's disgraceful distribution. You want to be number one? You you did do a great save. Travis. Edges. Switch of play. Adam Wharton gets mugged off. Great block, though. It is quite an intense little match, this. Cole. Yeah, Cole didn't score that many. I, it, like, yeah. Premier League years. Janssen. Well, Janssen was one of my favourites. But, like, like Janssen was one of my favourites. He did score goals. He's up there with one of my favourite players, as is Dak. I do like Dak. Lovely chance here now down the right for Rovers. It's a terrible ball, though. Terrible ball. So we 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 have been, we we have had we have had we had our good moments in the sun for strikers. Right now is probably the the darkest the bleakest scenario we've been in for a long time for strikers. And when we've had players that I would consider decent, like the way fo I'm on a tangent now, guys. I'm on a tangent. The way football is these days with your wide forwards, like every time, like I, I, it's, it's, it's confusing. Football is, is, can be confusing and, and it's been, it's been modernized recently. Um, you know, Sam Gallagher on paper should be a center forward slash striker played out wide. Diaz should be the same free kick here though. Free kick here though for Watford chance for them to put a bit of a pinger in here. Um, but it's football has evolved where there's hardly, you know, your Salas, the wide man, wide forward, not striker. You know, there's not many strikers anymore. And and I I honestly thought you know Gallagher as a centre forward is ideal. I also thought Diaz, Brereton as a centre forward would have been deal long lanky streaker piss down the middle. Uh, Travis is getting a talking town here by the weasel. If I was went for a league one strike, I would choose Colby Bishop. Colby Bishop, maybe uh, that job, that that uh, guy from Peterborough, Johnson Clark Harris has been in conversations with a couple of couple of championship clubs. Um, I think he scored yesterday. I would I I, I would have a chat with Smodich to see if he um, would agree that he's a good character for this. He's mature, 29, mature, 29 years of age. Christopher Samba, for me, was a rock at the back. Amazing, amazing uh, centre-back. Very, very sour how he ended his career with Rovers. But him and Nelson. Nelson goes under the radar. No one talks about Nelson. I thought Ryan Nelson was just phenomenal. And I have difficulty. Ooh, goes over. I have difficulty ranking the centre backs. If if I have to pick a dream team, you know, you pick you pick Colin Hendry, your Samba, Samba and Nelson together were just phenomenal. Like I'm telling you, phenomenal. I I cannot, I can't. And 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 I know Samba gets a lot of credit for being a beast, but for me, Nelson was just as good, just as good. So, you know. In in all seriousness, I'd play a back, a back five or three centre backs if I had to pick a dream team because I cannot separate those. Another fucking free kick. Um, Nelson, the best defender we had, and that includes Berg and Hendry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and Samba, Samba was was solid. Go on then, go on then, Wharton. It's not bad ball. If Harry Leonard would just bloody be conscious of that pass. 45 minutes gone. We will take a small break to get a cup of coffee and we'll be back. I'll tell you, I'll say I bring you back up to date with the other games, but this is the only game in town. Rovers, I was going to say holding their own here, but what for another chance after a little mistake from Wharton or a little bad pass. Kone wriggles, pushes out to the left-hand side. Matthias. 
Watch watch the movie here, guys. Let's just get out of this. Let's get to halftime, nil nil. And um, we'll take it from there. I, I want to talk about some other stuff at halftime. I'll have a little conversation. I've got a oh, it's lovely stuff here. Oh, great block. Holy turd house. Holy turd house. Big Dom Hyam with a monster goal saving block. I cannot believe it. Ken Surma. Oh, let's get to get out of here. Let's get out. Dom Hyam is, is, is slowly climbing up the, the ranks here as one of the best defenders I've seen. Great goal saving block here. Watford have had a good couple of chances. Pairs with a great save. The woodworkers denied them. So they're a little hard done by in Watford here. But Rovers do look, do look also can be a little bit deadly. Again, we are we are toothless up top. Toothless up top here. We lucky to be in there. We are lucky. And if we can get to halftime nil nil, then we can look to make some changes. Are you going to ask about what you're gifting me for my birthday? You're going to get, uh, you're going to, if you're going to get something, you're going to get something come Christmas time. I'll roll it all into one. All the birthdays and Christmases I've missed, you'll get a coupon. Get out of it. Get out of it. Uh, do you think there'll be any goals in the second half? I think there will be, but I don't know. I think they're not going to go the way I want. Make sure you get the subscribers up here. Like, like, like. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Ref, not. He's not. He's not, Dave. He's bloody. He's bloody wearing Watford underpants. Check his underpants. Not in that disgusting way. Just check him. Check him. Check his passport. Is he a bloody Watford fan in disguise? He's a Watford fan in disguise. He's a Watford fan in disguise. What are you doing, mate? It's not a corner, you cheeky bastard. Um, so, birthday gifts. Um, eh, we'll see. Valerie Ishmael looks pissed. I do like a bit of Valerie. Don't mention the C word or the V word. CV? C. Did I say? Did I, I didn't say that. I didn't. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't even know what that means. I, I, unless you mean the swear words. I don't. I don't use. You know, thank you for Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I was like, uh, that'll do you. That'll do you. We'll take it. We'll take it. Nil, nil at the break. Um, Christmas and the Benkies. Yeah, don't mention fax machines in January transfer window either, because they fucking need to get that shit sorted out. All right, let me let me take a bit of a breather. It is the birthday eve here. Uh, subscribe if you're new, um, and uh, I'll be back. I'll be back in a mo. We'll talk. I want to talk about some because we're doing the podcast. Me and what's his chops, Jacob. Later on today, um, I want to talk about potential transfers within the championship. Who do you think is going to make a move? Now, if you can, if you can let me know who you think will make a move, I'll talk about it with him on the pod um, this afternoon, and then we will um, see if you're right. See if they do make a move. Anyway, give me five. Um, I'll get the music playing here. Actually, you need to knock this, mute that sucker, get the DJ. I will literally, I've got to get the kettle going. So give me a couple minutes while I'll play this some music.
check. Back. I'm back, babies. Where is everybody else? Um, FPL code. That's right. Let's do that. Make sure you subscribe, of course. Uh, your one-stop shop for Rovers content and everything else in between. So let me... If you, if you want to join the fantasy thing, get involved here. What is my bloody password? I'm having a problem with these recently with my stupid passwords. Just trying to, you know, remember them. Well, that was not right. I don't know. either we'll get there Fuck no I don't, I don't know what it is i don't know what it is good defending so far loving the blackburn blocks pairs look suspect to me that's still, of course on the on the whatsapp group here let me uh get this guy back on get my email uh that'll do right i forgot my password okay give us a moment But yeah, confirmed we will be going to uh, England for uh, Christmas. We will be catching some Blackburn Rovers games in the flesh. Um, so, excuse me. Looking forward to that. Right, let's get that get, get, let's have a little look then play fantasy football let's go to my cup which my current situation is not great uh leagues where is it rovers league invite okay copy auto link see if i can see if you can get that in the chat there let me know how you get on so Passwords, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, guys and gals, so far... Okay, Bum Rovers, I'll take this. I'll take this um, all day long. Nil-nil draw, if we could get away with it. Um, of course, it's not great for the uh, for the, for the the spectacle here. Super Sunday. Uh, yeah. Rovers also, under-21s are in action. I think they're about to kick off within the next couple of minutes. Involved in that game. Still no sign of John Buckley. Where is he? Where is he? Um, yeah, so crazy stuff. But if he did die of a heart attack, that is absolutely shocking. So, um, who do we expect? Who do we expect? Have you played today's Framed? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Uh, Dirk Moran and Galley on soon. Yeah, um, Galley will. Galley should get some minutes, I would imagine. But if we were to, as a from when we look at the championship as a whole, um, who do we expect to um, to leave this week, like transfer wise? Who do we think is going to move? Of course, Gnotto, uh from uh, from uh, Leeds is expected to potentially to leave. Is there any big name players that you think will make the switch, whether to another championship club or to um, to uh, to uh, a Premier League club or maybe even abroad? I know we saw, just saw Chubb Akpom. He's gone now to Ajax. Crazy times. Uh, do we expect much business? Well, I'm anticipating a lot of business um, from from a lot of clubs uh, this this week. It's probably one. It could be one of the most hectic transfer winners in recent times. Not not for Rovers' point of view because we just don't know what the heck we're going to do, but. Um, do we know of anybody potentially on the move? Any goalkeepers, perhaps? I think a lot of clubs still looking for a lot of talent out there. 
Um, but if you know of any, any, any potential uh, moves, Sinistera maybe on the move. Che Adams. Che Adams is a player, I think, from uh, Southampton's books, who's been... Uh, you don't think Notto's going anywhere? Well, that's, that's good it's good info. Keep them, keep them going. Um, but uh, Che Adams has been linked with an Everton move, who have just... I think they're just about to sign Beto. Um, might be easy Brazilian or Portuguese or something. I'm not, not entirely sure. But uh, uh, I think Rovers are hoping to bring in a signing at the back and and arguably I think like a lot of clubs Watford were looking for a striker they did bring in uh, a Dane I think this past weekend as well not sure if he makes the bench I'm not I can't remember his name but um they uh brought in a striker I think I think that's that might be their search over since they're going nowhere either okay how many more Vikings will Rovers buy I don't know I think we you, you, you've got to. If we turn the clock back last year again, this is all for, for mainly for the Rovers faithful out there. Um, you know, we had what's his name, Morton. We had Morton on loan. We had the guy at the back there who was a, a Clinton Mola at the back as a, as a loanee. Who else did we have on loan? We had Hurst three. So we had at least three loanees. Uh, we we ain't making top half with Travis. Who's like me? What's your best team? <laughs> Well, we're going to go for best team when all fit and raring to go. From what I've got, from what we got right now, it'll be Welsh. That I'm, 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 I am. Uh, even though Pears has been pretty solid today, I just don't have that belief in him. It's just, it's just the way I am. I've, I've, I've always had that. So Welsh up between the sticks, Pickering at left back. Then we have Hyam, Carter, and JRC. Start. Even though Britain's been pretty good. Um, I, I think the versatility of JRC is, um, again, well, I, I'm, I'm debatable, debatable that, that JRC at right back, but you know, he's, exp he's, he could be flip-flopped. Um, then we have, I think Travis has to be our, our an anchor, our defensive midfielder and then Wharton. And then, you know, what are we looking at? What we're playing right now? Uh, I'd say Travis and Wharton right now. And then, you know, I know we used to play this a lot, you know, uh, Smodic as as the, the guy behind a striker. So Smodic in that, in that sort of midfield, but uh, kind of like the, you know, down, down from the striker, the 10. Is that what they call it? The 10. Uh, and then out left, I think Sigurdsson is, is, is he the left, left winger or is he the right winger? Either way, Sigerson gets in the team. Gallagher right now gets in the team. And then Hedges. I think Hedges, um, just for his maturity, I think that's my team. That's my best 11. Moran, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm excited about him being here. I'm, uh, he might get in it over Hedges. Hedges, Smodic, Sigerson, Gallagher up top. That's what I would, you know, I'd like to see Gallagher played as a striker. He's six foot, you know, you can't, you know, can you stack anything taller than the guy? He's behemoth. And if he, if somebody was to sit him down, I know he's had years of Mowbray in his ear saying, you're best out wide. I think you're best down the middle, pal. You're tall as shit. You, you, we've seen your bullet header a couple of goals in, in your time. Um, so, Tronstad, see, Travis, I thought, I think Travis has been put, put in a shift. Um, but, um, I, I, I'd like to get Tronstad in there at some point. And, we have to be prepared. I think we have to, like right now, we could be, I think, potentially going to lose Buckley this week if 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 the, the groans and the concerns are afoot, whether it's a loan or a, or a permanent deal. Why is he not involved? Surely he should be involved either today within the 11 or at least the bench or at least the under 21s. So he's nowhere to be found. Not too sure what that's all about. Uh, who gambles a, 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 is, a, is a bit of a risk. Bit of a bit of a bit of a bit of a flutter, bit of a punt. Uh, he is a, I think, a defender. So um, nothing to get excited about. To be fair, you know, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a creative attacker. Um, but um, we're now after Sunderland players. I did see some sort of mumblings and concerns about Pritchard maybe coming to Rovers, who can be a tidy player. Um, not got the legs, I don't think, for what we want. Um, so I don't, I don't, I don't, 
I don't think we will. Well, we were after bath. I had my first bath in a long time. Not that I don't have bath. No, don't do anything else. It's just we we had like some water shenanigans in our house that kind of stopped me. We kind of put the baths on hold while we tried to figure out what was going on with our water. But I had one the other day. I might. I should have one today and tomorrow. Birthday bath. Yeah. So I, I think we're after this Sykes fella. So that could be a move that we make. But if, if you are a fan of another championship club, let me know down below. I believe the game is on. I don't know why I'm not seeing the game. So we're back for whatever reason. That didn't, it didn't. Thank you, Magic. Let's get rid of that. Let's get back to this. Game is on. Game on, as they say. Get rid of that. So we're back, second half. So Kone off, loser on for um for what? Forget the likes in, guys. Get the likes, get the likes, 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 likes. Evidence said to be after Wharton this week. And they said, I did read that article by, by Matey Boy Nico. He said they're offering fringe players. What kind of fringe players are we talking about for um for uh for Everton? What kind of players would we be looking at? Uh, that you'd be considered to be a fringe player at Watford. So, game is back on. We're live, live, live. And uh, Watford have possession right now. We played about a minute of the first, of the second half. And that will go through to pair. I'll take a point. I would take a point at Vicarage Road. We've been bitten here many times in the past. Uh, I think if we can get out of here with something, a uh, build-up for a better week. Balassi, is he still playing? Is he still bloody playing? Let me have a little look. I'm going to bring him up on, on my screen here. Everton did lose. Um, Balassi, I don't see him. I don't know where the heck he is. A lot of these players would be on funny money. Deli Alley, Deli Alley. I don't know who they're talking about. They're fringe players. I can't see many of these guys making the step down to, uh, Let's have a look at the um, reserves. Yeah. Doubtful. Well, Martins with a long range effort. I would take Mope for Wharton. Straight up and down, like no, no money. He'd be on funny money, would Mope be? I don't think so. I think Mope might be a bad seed. I think he might be a bad seed. I think, I think. If we were to get Mopi on loan for a season, they pay a shit ton of the wages. Brathway is, I thought I heard Dyche talk about him that yesterday or the day before about getting, because he did a loan at PSV. Um, I, I just don't think he, that's what we want. We don't want a young, young centre back that wants first team. We have a, our partnership in Carter and Wharton. We want an older, experienced head to come in. So I don't think we would be after that. Mopi is probably something we would look at but the the deal has to be great you know what i mean like we have to i'd say alone and then they'd have to pay some money for wharton it's all about watford at the minute all about watford come on rovers get the fuck out of this so nil nil a little bit nervy first two or three minutes here by rovers let's get out of this get a point go go to uh to harrogate have a have a good day out even though we could still lose that game with a a fringe squad because warsaw were were in it against us four three in the end so we and that was at home so i wouldn't i wouldn't say it's a banker by rovers millie seemed confident at the pre-game 
but I I am on the on the on the not on the fence. I just think if we want to win it, we'll play the big boys. If we want to kind of risk it for a biscuit, we might play some youngsters. What it doesn't take uh, chances from us, Mike Nickness. Pears has done nothing wrong at this moment, but and a clean sheet here will 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 give him some credits in the bank. Gray could be the one they're after. Greg, have I still got the thing up here? I think I might. Um, I don't think I have the thing up here anymore. Gray could be if 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 they have them. I don't even know if they have them. Damari Gray. If it's Damari Gray, that's crazy. Martins now as Watford look to uh, burst into life. Pairs with a grab. Damari Gray. He's a he's a good little player. He's a good little player. Wasn't he at uh, Wasn't he at uh, Leverkusen? Damari Gray. No, oh, that's terrible. That is terrible. He's 27. He went to Leverkusen. Didn't really hit it off. You could be right. Watford still with possession. Have Rovers come out of this half? No, they, they haven't. They bloody well haven't. Porteous, of course. Former Hibs centre-back. Competing with uh, Dom Hyam. Get Gallagher on. I think we will see some changes eventually. Smolich down. We'll take that just to get a breather. We can still sign free agents, but I remember Mowbray doing something like that with uh, Lewis Holtby or, or, you know, we still need to, we, if, we, if we start the process now, we might get approval by, by Friday. That's what I'm on about. If if we are looking, if we have not made a signing by Thursday, uh, I fear, I fear, I fear us again, having the worst, the worst, another worst transfer shenanigans. Tyrese. Like we need to, we need to get out of the blocks and make these signings like, or get the ball rolling now. We're not fanning around on Friday because Fax machine, horse shit. We can't... How can it go any worse? How can it go any worse from last time? You know what I mean? We need to be... We need to be on it. They need... It's a bit of a joke. We are a joke within our own community, let alone the EFL. So we need to, to bounce back and get the transfer stuff right. There we go. Let's go. Lot Possession in the middle. Can we? Can we get a cross in? Travis. Ooh. Um we'll go out of play. Who's who's on the who's on my money here? I hate Sky Sports. We why put the first half on one channel and the second <laughs> That's crazy. Haven's getting drunk. Lock up your ladies. Rovers still have 56k into they do. They do. They're they're sh shoddy. In fact, I was just thinking about that, about the um you know, the Wi-Fi in that in that neighborhood. You know, it looks like Watford are going to make some changes. They already made one changes, but one change so far. Watford, they're going to look like they're going to make a couple, couple other ones. Their new striker looks like he's coming on. Rovers with Moran still get the sand out of his shoes from Brighton Beach. He might also get a minute or two. Oh, the little Georgian fella. He's good, guys. We're in trouble. They, they've decided to unleash the weapon as the Georgian lad. Who's a guy who's going to get you off your seats. So we got to be careful about this kid when he comes on. I don't know why he doesn't, doesn't start. Maybe he's just not ready for, for the full 90. But he's a player that's going to probably cause us some problems here. Go on, Wharton. Go on then. Give and go. Ah.
55 minutes on the clock. Rowers are in trouble. Corner though. Check Fadze. Yeah. King Kladze. Kanashvili. What's what was the what was the good the good Georgian from Man City? Kavalatsvili or something like that. I don't know. We had one. We had a George. I'm a Georgian as well, though. I'm a Georgian. Not that Georgian. Here he comes. Uh, Danny Bashu, he's been pretty savvy in midfield. Chetvatse will be uh, taking over the reins there. Chetvatse. Chetvatse. It's easy for you to say. We can't keep the ball for more than 10 seconds. We just need a, a glimmer. I don't see Morton starting for Liverpool getting back on loan. I don't know. We need to. I'd love us to get a couple more loans in. Imagine. Imagine if we, we've got one loan in, Moran. If we can get a couple more loans in, I'm, I'm being greedy. I'm being greedy here. A couple more loans in, a couple permanents in. Uh, if we can get, we could get four in. If we, if we were to optimize the loan, you know, get that Sykes in, um, and then two more loanies, then I think we'll, we'll maybe a loan to buy, perhaps. What's going on here? Corner. Tyrese has got to come off. Sign the contract, Tyrese. Sign the contract so we don't lose you for peanuts. Pairs. All right. All right, let's get some brew down me. Let's, uh, indeed, indeed. Who else could we? It's Gallagher and Moran, I think. He's ready. Let's do it. Tyrese is off. Unless we get a decent striker, our season's over before it begins. If we don't get a striker, are we relegation candidates, do you think? Peanuts, isn't that Rowers? It is, it is, it is. Okay, here we go. So we're going to see Moran. We're going to see Gallagher in... Um, we see Dolan coming off, who, who offered a little. Go on, go on, Gallagher. Make it your week. Gall Leonard's coming off. So hopefully Leonard down the mid, I mean Gallagher down the middle, and then Morana out wide. And let's see. I'm a happy clapper. Beat your rivals wig in Athletic 2-0. Respect. Respect for you, Ryan. Stopping by. Let's see what you got, Moran. Can you be the new Harvey Elliott? Travis still on the pitch. I think there are at least three clubs worse than Rovers. We think QPR, you think Huddersfield, you think. Who else? Cardiff, maybe Sheffield Wednesday. But form is, is critical. Look at Middlesbrough. That's a, that's a talking point as well. Middlesbrough, what's gone wrong with, uh, what's gone right? What's gone wrong with Matey Boy? Carrick and Co. Go on, Moran. Let's see what you got, buddy. Go on, Moran. He's a bit more, bit of a, bit of a, a much more taller presence. There we go now, Rovers. Edges. Live it to left, left! Moran, already. First touch, really. That's a shot. Not too, sh not too shabby, a bit weak, but that would have, um, that would have been great. Great little counter attack there by Rovers. Moran had time and space. I think uh, McAdee will step up. I, th I think I think McAdee has to play has to play on Wednesday. I think Leonard will probably play as well. Um, and we might even see Moran get get a get a full start as well if he's not cup tied already, which I don't think he has. Oof, a bit of a mess at the back there. Approaching the hour mark. It's like watching a cricket Barnsley and Wigan. Back here with uh, with Watford. Possession. They're in their own half at the moment. Here goes Porteous. Sprays it to the right-hand side. And who? Is Aspria still on the pitch? That's a good ball. Why aren't you coming for it, Pears? Why didn't you come for it? Why didn't you take it? Wednesday Rotherham Huddersfield going down. The alchemist with his... Prediction. Pairs came out there, looked a little bit, a little bit 
A little bit concerning there. But I think he did the right thing. Moran played in the Papa John's Trophy or the Cheese on Pizza Trophy. <laughs> yes. I know what Papa John's is. I know what Papa John's... I've eaten many, many pizzas without cheese on them in my time. So... Great block. Fuck off. Fuck off, ref. How one uh, Yorkshire team is going to be in League One next year? I don't know. I don't know. Smodish will chase this down. Keeper Batman. Batman's way out of his out of his net. Keeper does a good. More than three teams for sure. Robin Hood. Respect. Okay, still 0-0 zero, zero as the clock ticks on. I would take this. I would take this all day long. Travis looking a little bit frustrated out there. Lovely stuff, Moran. To Wharton. To the left-hand side. Ah! I don't like these random posts here, Raymond. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know if you get me all worried. I'm concerned. I don't like I don't like the silence in the chat. Ah. Goes wide. Goes wide. Okay. <sighs> I don't know what else is going on today game-wise. I really, I think Man City might be playing. Thoughts. Dingle's playing Villa today. That's right. Um, thoughts on Birmingham's start to the season. They have been great. Here comes Rovers, though. Rovers. Uh, yeah, I'm 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 stunned, uh, stunned a little bit by by Birmingham, but they had a had a strong transfer window. Um, they sold Tahiti Chong for four mil to Watford. Got a bit of money in there. Bought some good signings. Oh, okay. I just thought you're kind of like alluding to something that's going on. Maybe you're ahead of me in the old. Stream, I think. What's going on over here? It looks a little bit funky. Okay. Um. Uh, but look at Backman. Backman's way out of his uh, net here, guys. Way out as they push the the line forward. It's a dangerous looking ball. No. Free kick here for Watford. Watford will win this. Let's have a little look. Dom Hyam. It's way out there. It's a free kick out wide. It's only the first yellow for Rovers today. Uh, Make your boys down here. I don't know why he's down. You're not going to get a red now because you're lying down, buddy. You might get a goal. I only just got here. Who has the better play so far? Or has it been about even? Watford. Watford, Watford. What? Lee Johnson just been sacked by Hibbs. He's still got a second leg against Villa to be had. Well, you know what? He's at, he, had a, he had a good run. He had a good run. Um, yeah, that, I think he needs to... Um, he needs to have a a spell in League Two or back in League One with another club, I think. Hibs is a difficult place. It's my Scottish club. It's my Scottish club. It's Hibs. 
But um, my good friends, I do want to see Batman Rumors to win this by 2-1 for goodness sake. I'd like to, I'd like a 1-0. I'd like something. But right now we are under the cosh and it's Watford with a free kick here. Um, well, that's interesting news being a Sunderland fan. I, 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 I mean, you know, when he took over Sunderland in League One, they're like, you know, having the keys to the city. You know what I mean? It's all, it's like a, not an easy thing. You should expect Sunderland to compete. Um, play it short. <laughs> Goes wide. But, you know, I'm just saying he needs uh, like a, like a, like an Exeter City or a, or a, you know, Fleetwood Town or a, something like that. A club that's, that's not expected to do well. Kind of like a a, a, re a rebirth, not a, a club with, with not, not like a Portsmouth, not like a Barnsley, not like a team that's expected to do well in that division, but a team that's that's kind of not got much hope. A Shrewsbury, a Shrewsbury, uh, a Wickham Wanderers, that sort of thing. Wickham Rovers now finally a bit of bit of possession down the right hand side. He did. He did good. He did good at Bristol City. He was very... That's when his stock was high. He had them competing. And he might even be, you know, if, if their season doesn't pick up, you never know. They might go back. Seventy, Just 17,000 on Vicarage Road today. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Big man, big man has his chance to shine. Probably right on that. He won't be on a long vacation. Been a pretty slow game, this. It has been. It has been. Um, it's a bit nervy for a Rovers game. I think I think it seems very slow for for Rovers. Um, I think Watford will be thinking that clock's going down too fast. I'm thinking it's taking too fucking long, and I would love to uh, steal it. Oh, nearly, nearly down the right hand side there for Hedges. Who else can we come on there? Tronstad maybe. Um, we've made two subs, I believe, right? Martins, we need some uh, a lovely touch there, Smodic. Give and go, give and go. Referee, get out my fucking way, Gavin Ward. Gavin bloody Ward. He's bloody clueless. Poor positioning. I think, you know, matey boy, what's his name? Mike Dean with his latest splurge about the referees. You know, just goes to show how a mess the officiating is in this league. In, in this country, in England, and how they need to take lessons from the French. You know, I, I said that right, the French, even the rugby league, you know. Oh, here we go, tenacity. That's a free kick. It's a free kick here. Gavin Ward, mate, you need to, you need to bloody make an example. Give Rovers the victory. You owe us a pen. I think a couple of people got a yellow card there, guys. Free kick here for Rose. Nothing, nothing to get excited about. Nothing to get excited. It's way out. It's nowhere near. Calm your jets. Don't panic. It's not. It's Wharton, though. Uh, and as he um, makes some sort of headlo headlines today in the Sunday papers about the attention he's getting from uh, a Crystal Palace, from at Everton, maybe some others will take a little bit more notice of his game today under the cameras and maybe we might get an offer. I don't really want an offer to be honest with you. I think if we if we're gonna sell, which we might sell by the groans. That's a corner. That's a fucking corner. Here comes Rovers. Is Moran a corner taker? Is Moran a corner taker? Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's gonna be hedges. 
corner. Not looking at the chat. I'm gonna minimize the chat. You guys might be ahead of me here. Just in case. Just in case. I'm 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 opt I'm hopeful. I'm optimistic. That was a good corner take. But no one on the end of it, really. Britain, back to pairs. Come on. Got myself excited for nothing, guys. Got myself excited. So, what was I thinking? T-bone steak today for my tea. Maybe some jacket potatoes. Something like that. Long ball over the top. Smodich takes it down. Stay on side, Moran. Trav. Ah. I don't like this. There's the Georgian. Nervy times. 20 minutes to go, guys. 20 minutes to go. I think we need to bring on a fresh set of legs. Travis might be might be shot. He does do a lot of running. Still, Watford press. Big man on deck. Okay, let's get back there. Let's get the chat back. Classic Keen, seven and two games. He's taken more out of his net than a Grimsby fisherman. He has. He's had a bit of a mare, but it is a rough old start. It was the first game. Can't really remember, but Chelsea. It's Aspria now. Rolling back the years. Not that Aspria, a different one. Luna's in town, busting through the scenes. I cannot take you out, Luna, unfortunately. I'm in the middle of something. Travis, give and go. Gallagher, give it back. Give it back. Too much. Finish it. Finish it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he does it this time. He does it this time. I don't believe the angle. I do not believe the angle. Holy turn house. The angle of the dangle. Incredible stuff here. I don't believe it. What an angle. Daylight robbery up bloody Vicarage Road. Hedges. Oldest man. Grandpa, they call him. Gramps. He looks pissed. I'm over the moon. You're over the moon. Let's have another look at it. Grandpa. At it again. Hedges. Look at this. I thought the chance had gone. Great through ball. Trouble. Counter-attacking stuff. Travis. He's onside. Don't know what you're doing. Lays it off. Has a go. Hedges. Trickery. Goal of the season. Stop. Get it in. Get it in there. Get it in there. Bloody Nora. We've robbed them with daylight robbery. It's a blood of robbery. It's a robbery. We've robbed them. What am I doing? I can't even post on Twitter because I'm that stunned. I'll take it. I'll take a 1-0 win. I'll take a draw, though, as well, to be honest with you. I'll take a draw. Aspria off. Rovers somehow, somewhere, at Vicarage Road, have scuppered, well, have got a bloody lead. And maybe... Go. Oh, Smodich. Get in my veins, indeed. Get in my bloody veins. However, it's still a long way to go. I know. I know. Who needs a striker? That's what Venkis are saying. They're saying, no, don't forget about it. You got you got goals. We have nicked it. Unless JDT goes to... He might. He might still do that, guys. We know. And I'd take a draw. I would take a draw. Even in this scenario right here, I would take the 1-1. The one, the one, one. But you know what? Can we? Can we hold on for what would be an insane, an insane result? Let's not lie about it. Let's not kid on, kid on here. And what a little, not, 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 not trying to be all selfish here, but it would be a lovely birthday present for me. It would be a lovely little birthday gem. A birthday eve for me. I would, I would, I would get the beers out now. Get the beers out now. 
I'd be drunk on the pod with Jacob. Hedges, though. Holy smash, that should be a throw in for Rovers, right? Indeed. Wow, wow, we, wow, we, wow, 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 and wow. I, don't, I honestly don't believe what I saw. That was the tightest, finest of angles. Ishmael looks pissed. He knows he's getting sacked tomorrow because it's Watford. It's what they bloody do. Uh, even if a draw, he probably would get the sack. An angle of the dangle, as they say in golf. The angle of the dangle. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've got 15 minutes, 15 minutes to go. Uh, here come Watford, though, on the press. 15 minutes to hang on to this. Great block there by Smod. Ugh. Still got a long way to go. Long way to go. That should be a Rovers. Watford are angry. Only a winner is good enough. I don't, I, a draw is good. A draw is good here, guys. We've got to, we've got to hold on. We've got to hold on. Watford look pissed. Um. Hang on in there. That crampage Rovers <laughs> with the time waste. This is the best we got. JRC with the with the time wasting skills. It's just going to get added on. We're going to have that stupid ten minute stoppage time. I don't want it. JRC gets carded. JRC gets a card. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Defensive change. Scotty Wharton. Scotty Wharton coming on, guys. Scotty Wharton. So, what goes on here? Britain on the right. Scott Wharton on the left-hand side. Left back, maybe? Or back three? One point secure. That's all that matters. I would say. I would say, uh, hopefully, one point is, is secured. Uh, but this is Rovers. Gallagher, switch on, mate. Switch the fuck on. Smod, Smod itch. Lovely. Oh, too much on it. Gallagher, come on. Uh, I just the Rovers, Rovers fans. Uh, I love them. I love all of you. I love all Rovers fans, of course. I am one. But I know Rovers. And I just know that this, like we were singing our songs out, our uh, hearts out in the FA Cup quarterfinal uh, against Sheffield United, thinking we were in the semis. When I knew in my wildest dreams that we were not going to get there, or at least. It was not over when we were in front. And now the fans, credit to them that making the trip down to Watford, um, being uh, very optimistic about winning this game. I don't think, I think this game is still open. We have 12 minutes with stoppage time and Watford are dead. Here's Tom Ince. The, uh, oh. What are you doing, Britain? What position am I playing? He's playing out left. Gallagher blocks. Adam Wharton. That should be a foul. We'll take it. He's playing out left hand side. Someone else coming off here. Andrew's off. Nakeka. Ngakia coming on. I'll take a point here, guys. I really would take a point. It would not be a point to be sniffed. Three points would be crazy. Um, but I would take a point. I would take a point. 
but a long way to go still in this game. 11 minutes plus stoppage time. Go back, go back! Are you kidding me? I would take a point if Owen John doesn't sing. Oh, it's a chance here. Moran. Moran's got possession. Do the right pass. Smodic. Moran. Smodic. Britain. Nothing. Nothing given. Gavin Ward gets in the fucking way. Thankfully. How much are I don't know. It's going to be 10. I don't know about 10. I'd say 6 right now. Tom Ince. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. However, did that stay out? However, did that stay out? Twice has hit the woodwork. I d it should have, they should have had at least a couple today, Watford. Uh, I, I don't know how much credit Pez... Well, Pez also had a really couple of good clutch saves. But that hit the frame again, if we're completely honest. Goalkeeper has to come all the way out for this one. Nervous times. Porteous, they're pressing here. Pressing hard. A lot of men. Further forward. Porteous now the furthest man forward with the back heel themselves. Wharton. What are you doing, Wharton? A little bit of immaturity there by Wharton. I'll do. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Squeaky bum time indeed. Just that's just cop you know. I know a lot of you guys will be thinking this is three points in the bag. It's definitely not. Definitely not, but great. I think I think Pears puts an arm on this one. Again, you can't drop him. You cannot drop him for for today's performance right now. So I'd give him the day off against Harrogate, and he'll be back in the net between uh, uh, for Plymouth. He'll, he'll be back in the net, of course. Are we going to make any more changes? Uh, Scott Warren plus the other two, that's three. Uh, I don't, I think Tronstadt would be the only sensible option. The rest are kids and you don't want to, you don't want to, and you don't want to pull a hamstring here, bloody Smodic, kind of. I really, really am feeling it. It's a good ball. It's a good, great block again. Scott Warren putting in the commanding performance. It is. Technically, technically, that's the closest team to me, really. Plymouth. You know, way out there. Corner. Watford. I really could do with the bathroom right now. What you're doing with your bloody ball bag. Who's that? Britain? It was Polish. It was a great goal. Fine angle. <sighs> because Watford still with possession. Gavin Ward in a fucking way again. Poor, poor positional sense by a man of his age and experience. That'll do. Let's relieve some pressure. 
what have we got? We've got probably five minutes of normal time. Probably got about 10 minutes or so left. I think Pears is up there, man of the match. He's definitely had a good, good um, innings, as they say in cricket. I'm not a cricket man myself, but he's had a good sesh. Come on, you blues. John, respect. Make sure you subscribe. Thumbs up. Smash the old thumbs up. We're still a long way away from full time as uh, Watford have it. <sighs> Give it a big fat like. Thanks, Naive Steve. Appreciate the encouragement. Lovely stab there by Moran. Just to kind of slow play down. Throw in. Big, big throw in Moran. Putting in a, a little bit of a mini shift here. Not really seen much of the ball. Had a chance himself to put the ball in the back of the net. But right now, it's defending. Get your best defenders on. S sneak another guy on. Stick a 12th man on there, Rovers. Give us a follow and like, pal. I appreciate that. Headed, partially cleared. Watford still with possession. We are now down to... It's such a slow climb here. 86 minutes. Uh, pushed out to left-hand side. Is that Zerma? Is he still... See, it's still on here. He's got tricks and ponies in there himself. Lovely block. You... You do not want to see your hard work go amiss here, Hedges. You do not. It's Gallagher making a marauding run. Spread out again. Watford. A lot of green there. Problems. There's the Porteous again. Just cleared. Just fucking cleared. <sighs> I feel sick, guys. I feel sick. I feel sick. And the thing is, is, is I don't, I don't believe, I don't believe that. I, I want to believe. Here we go, Modic. Hedges, give it to Gallagher. Give it now. He's on side. He's on side. He's on fucking side. He was on side. If, if, if he's not on side, what you know, heads should roll here. Shit angle, shit camera angle. I think I think I think he's he's borderline on side here. But anyway, let's not panic. Well, we're probably going to panic here. Great block. Bloody Callum Britton still operating as a left back here. So I don't know where that fuck Scotty Wart Scotty Wharton's playing. I don't know. Maybe Carter's op op operating as a right back. I have no idea. But we're down to the 87 and a half minutes. Chance here. Long range. Long range. Going to go for goal. Blocked. Rover still defending. It's not the greatest clear. So Adam Wharton just God, kind, of, kind of keeps it in play. Uh, I don't want to look at the chat, guys. I can't look at the chat. Get rid. Karate kicked out of town. Oh, where's my brew? I'm out of brew. I need beer. I need vodka. Whiskey. Whiskey in the eyeballs. I need something. Bloody Nora Rovers are hanging on for dear life. We are hanging on for dear life. Ninety seconds of the ninety. And Rovers have possession. Wharton, manhandled, passes it. Gallagher, oh, what a celebrated there! Let's take your time on this. Take your time on this. Could have been a really great chance for Gallagher to seal the deal, but it's still available. Gallagher. Throw in for Rovers into the 89th minute we go. Another throw in from Rovers. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I can't believe I just hang on for fuck's sake. How long have we got? Hang on in here now. And, and, and uh, I'll save my end of piece here if we can if we can hold on.
Should see us to the 90. What, what have we got? What's the change? Five minutes of stoppage time, guys. Five minutes of stoppage time. Hedges looks like he's going to... What are we going to do here? What are we going to do here? We're, we're milking this a little bit. Hopefully it's not going to be biting us in the arse. We're so shit at this corner business. We're so shit at that corner business. Five minutes. I'd look, uh, yeah, even now, take it a point. I take a point. Hopefully, this is so late the game. What for? Stop panicking. Then we can exploit them. Let's hope. Let's hope so. But you know, even even as we crawl into this extra time, I take I take a a, a, a point. I take a bloody point right now. Even though we are winning, chance here though. Smodic, Moran, competent on the ball. That's great to see. Lovely switch. It's pushing it way over there. Kind of a rugby style. Get it away as far as you can. As far as you can. Back man. Great stop. Wharton. To Hedges. Come on then. Come on then. Not fanning around. Go for it. Do something. Because we're shit at time wasting. We don't know what to do. That'll do though. That'll do. Come on. Come on. Come on. I feel sick. I feel sick. Go on, Edges. Yeah. This is yours, mate. This is all yours. All you're doing. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe what you did. Love. Oh, my Lord. The filth. The filth. The filth. The f I'm watching a replay of that goal. That is unbelievable. That is goal of the season. He cannot believe it. The amount of tricks. He should be on Freestyle FC or whatever it is. The amount of the, the silky skills. That should be played back. Filthy, filthy, filthy. And it's, it's a game-winning worthy goal. It deserves to win this game. But I, 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 don't, I cannot bank it until it's too late. That should roll out of play. Let's have a look what's going on in the chat. Hedge, well, I don't know about the man of the match. But the moment of the match for sure. Moment of the match for Defo Shaw. So uh, reaching header there. Into the last two and a half minutes, we've got to hold on and hopefully JDT can prove to be. Lovely. Go on. Go on. Pull it back. Pull it back. Pull it back. Now Moran. Go on, sir. Go on, sir. Lay it. That might be a... Uh, that was some confident, confident stuff there by the young man as we enter the final minute or so. I think we may have done enough to hold on for a point. I'm still very, very reserved about getting any... some sort of reassurance that we're going to hold on here because we are Blackburn Rovers. We know how to fuck things up royally. But let's not underestimate this result if it holds. I I cannot take my eyes off the fucking clock. <sighs> Come on. Just get the ball back one more time. Give it, go, give it. That's a good clearance. One more minute to go. Let me know if it's over. Because you guys might be a little bit more than me. Batman. Again, we may have, we might. Great clearance. Smod. Gallagher, play it wisely. Don't do anything stupid. Just like that. Just like that. How cheap are you, fucking Gallagher? I know you just had a good week. That'll do. That should fucking do it. Justin Hedges' goal. Very nice. Bloody hell it nice. What is he doing there? We're making a change. Who's this kid coming on? I don't even know who he is. It's this gamble. We're having a bit of a gamble here, guys. 
What was that? Who's that? Batty? I don't even know who he is. Such a... Is it over? Is it over? I don't know if it's over or not. I don't know. Oh my gosh. How long has that been like that? How long has that been like that? How long has that been like that? Killing me. What just happened? Free kick for Rovers. It's still going on, guys. You're killing me. You're lying to me. It's still going on. Where is the final score? Where's the, where's the final whistle? I need it. I need the final whistle. Is that full time, David? All right, I'll take it. I'll take it! Let's not underestimate this. Let's not underestimate this. This is huge, humongous result. JDT does one over Watford. That, let's, let's put this into perspective. Let's go big picture on this one. Put this in. This could be a caveat in the transfer market to the to the to the question marks, the Johnson Clark Harris's of the world that say that we actually might be able to get something here. We were second best today by a mile, by about a chunk of time. We take that moment and a, a, a goal worthy of goals that was. Hedges, play it back. Play it back. The flick, the keepy uppies, the finish. That is incredible stuff. We've taken the three points. We move up the chains, of course, and to within touching distance of the top six. That, guys, is a stonking result. Absolutely incredible stuff. I can't believe it. I cannot believe we're coming out of here with a win. I, I predicted a draw at my very best. But no, we bloody took the... We took it all. Daylight robbery. And when I say daylight, it's just about to ring 9 a.m. here in deepest, darkest Georgia. Um... And, 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 and what a, for me, as selfish as I am, what a pre-birthday gift that is. Th a 1-0 win at the old stomping ground, Vicarage Road. That doesn't happen that often. And, of course, that team, Watford, will be up there. Don't get me wrong. This is an away day result. I would have taken that at home. Away day result. Uh, and, yes, yeah, five points from top. I don't give a shit about that. But to bounce back from that whole defeat, it kind of writes the wrong that was Hull. Uh, and puts us back on track, I think. Um, you know, I think we're good. I think we're bubbling uh, at a nice pace right now. But it just gives those question marks, those players that might be thinking about joining Blackburn Rovers and think, you know what, <laughs> when you look at the stats, 24 shots to our five. And, you know, when we look at the, 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 the last year's seventh place finish, beating a team like Watford at their own place could be a difference maker between them, play, that player signing for us or signing somebody else. Uh, for somebody else. So good morale boosting victory. Let's roll that into two Wednesday night against Harrogate Town and, of course, get through to the next round of the Cup. And then, of course, look forward to a tricky away game against Plymouth, which, of course, could go any which way. But today, big result. Happy days. I'm going to bow out. I'm going to do a quick instant review before talking to my folks. But, of course, I'll see you very, very soon uh, for the build-up, the reaction, the review, all that kind of stuff. But until then, guys, appreciate you. We're out of here. Yo, yo, yo.